Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a what's in my diaper bag video. I decided to film this video while I was filming Jude Girl's seventh month video update because I thought it'd be helpful to any new moms out there or new parents, I should say or if you're just kind of nosy. Remember when what's in my bag, like what's in my purse was a trend on YouTube? Like those videos weren't that helpful. We we're all just nosy, if we're being honest. I know I'm a nosy person. I'm okay with owning up to that. I feel like you either need to own up to your personality traits or if you don't like something, change it. I'm a nosy person. I don't mind being a nosy person. It's not something I'm going to change at this point. I've been like that for a long time. Anyway, let's hop into the actual video. So this is my diaper bag, as I shared in Jude Girl's seventh month video. This is the diaper bag from Fawn Design. I think it's one of the only uh, diaper bags out there that is one, practical, and two, stylish and cute because I'm gonna be walking around with a diaper bag for a couple of years, if not longer, if we have another baby, and I just didn't want to be walking around with an ugly diaper bag. I don't know about you, but yeah, I just wanted something that at least looked nice. And then also this is vegan leather, so it's very easy to clean and wipe off. If you have a baby, you know that just having a baby is messy. So in my diaper bag, actually, you know what? Let's start on the outside compartments. I do have some basic, I feel like I should zoom out. Okay, I think that's better. In my diaper bag, I have like the basic items, but I also have some things that maybe you didn't think of, but I am just gonna go through everything. So starting on this front pocket here, I have, uh, face mask because that's the world we live in now and then I also have <laughs> actually my ID which I'm not going to show because most of the time I'm just carrying this because I'm out about with Jude and if I'm not out about with just Jude usually Corey's driving so I don't need my license also it's very easy to just pop out my license and put in a little purse if I am having to go somewhere without Jude and I don't need the diaper bag. Then I actually have some milk storage bags. I've been places where like I've had to use my Hakka and then I'm like, okay, well, what do I do with the Hakka milk? So I would definitely recommend, especially if you have a younger baby and you're going somewhere and you do use your Hakka to keep some milk storage bags in there because then you could, yeah, transfer the Hakka milk into there, transfer into wherever you are, that person's freezer, fridge, whatever, and then take it home if you don't have a bottle on you or you're not giving a bottle immediately to your baby. And these side pockets, I don't have anything, but normally what what I'll do when I'm walking around with Jude, I'll actually just stick my phone in one of the side pockets and that makes it so like I don't have to actually hold my phone, but then it's still easily accessible. And then in this back pocket, that's one of the things I love about this diaper bag. There's so many little different compartments to kind of separate things out. So in this back pocket, I have a diaper changing mat from Gather. This is what it looks like. It folds up very nicely, but it's actually pretty big. I'm confident I've shared this as a favorite in one of Jude Girls monthly videos because we have three of these. We might even have four. I think we have three. So I keep one in the diaper bag at all times. I don't take it out, it's just always in here so I don't have to think about it when I'm leaving the house. Even if you go to the bathroom in a restaurant, let's say and they have the foldable diaper things, I still put this down because I mean now, especially with everything going on, you wanna be safe. Um, but even if anything wasn't going on, I don't know. I just like, some people would say I'm too clean of a person, but I just, yeah, just like protect your baby. Think about it this way. When you go to a public restroom, I personally will always get one of the toilet covers. And if they don't have one, I will put toilet paper down. And if I don't do that, I'll hover, which I've read is not good to hover. It's bad for your pelvic floor, I think. So now I've been trying to get better. I, I'll lay out tissue paper. I'm not putting my butt on a public restroom toilet. You can say whatever you want, that pee is sterile, this and this and that, I'm not doing it. So if I would do that for myself, I'm of course going to protect my baby. So I just carry that around. And then also if I'm at someone's house, I'll use that too. And then it's just really easy to sanitize. Just take a wipe, um, take some cleaning spray and clean it up. And then also in this back pocket, I have a wet bag from Nora's Nursery. So we have this because we do use primarily cloth diapers but we actually don't use cloth diapers that often I and mean, we've used them a few times when we're out and about for but for the most part when we're out and about we are using disposables but i do still keep this in her diaper bag because this is nice to have when we've used it mostly when we go to swim classes with jude girl so we can take off her bathing suit and her like towel and stuff and stick it in here i don't have to worry about getting anything else wet but i would recommend this even if your baby's not in swim classes even if you're not using cloth diapers 
if you have a younger baby especially for any blowouts so you can just kind of put all the clothes and nasty poop cover stuff in this bag separate from everything else and then even as your baby gets older and you don't have blowouts you can have just like leaks in general with pee you can have let's say your baby starts solids and their clothes just get so messy that you're just like we need to switch this out you just have this bag um, if you don't know what bag i feel like it's self-explanatory it's a waterproof bag so you can just stick those clothes in here, still stick it in your diaper bag and not have to worry about it. Honestly, even for an adult, I feel like a wet bag would be nice if like you're heading to the gym and you're gonna change out of your clothes at the gym, like your nasty sweaty clothes and then put on new clothes, you can still separate them out. And now let's move to inside the diaper bag. So this is what the diaper bag looks like inside. So it's gonna fall out. There's plenty of room. There's definitely things in here that I could live without, but I like that this diaper bag is so big because I just kind of put everything in here that I could possibly need because I have the room, so might as well. Starting at the top, I have this little pouch. It's also from Gavin. I put some toys in here for Jude Girl. So right now I have this teether, these like wooden keys, and then I have this little strawberry and i just kind of like periodically switch out these toys not very often because since they live in the diaper bag she kind of forgets about them so they seem quote unquote new when we pull them out but i'd say i probably switch them out every month two months um and just and i like that i have this because it means that i know all her toys are in this little pouch within here so they're nice and separated next thing i have is a burp cloth i feel like pretty basic and ex um explanatory pretty basic and i don't know what i wanted to say but pretty basic and i think everyone just has this next thing i have some wipes again um everyone has that in their diaper bag i do think i want to get like a travel size because it is annoying to have like a big pack of wipes once we start using them they're obviously smaller but like anytime we have to refill we just have this big chunky bag of wipes in there i don't like that i do keep the wipes in a compartment in the diaper bag at the side so they're easily accessible because that's something that you're going to be using often and then on the other compartment on the side let me see if you can see what i'm talking about so like there's this little kind of like what's on the outside of the diaper bag there's one inside on both sides so on the other side we have miss girl's diaper balm this is actually from pipette and it's baby balm but we use it as diaper balm and then we actually use it also as like vaseline all over her and it's nice that it's a dual purpose and then going along with that i do have some diapers these look, wow the color is getting very washed out we do also have a swim diaper in here because as i mentioned we do take Jude girl to swim lessons um and so if she was ever in a diaper and right before we put her in the pool she like pooped and we noticed i'm gonna put her in a new one i don't need her to sit in the poop diaper and then also i feel like that's rude for the other babies i ran out of room on my camera sorry about that next basic thing we have in here is a bottle we do from i guess i shouldn't say we i primarily breastfeed miss girly but we do use uh formula sometimes i don't know why everything is so washed out but this is a formula container from amazon i think this is a really nice one it has this lock on the front you can open it up and then it comes with a little formula spoon the formula spoon is actually only half of a normal formula spoon so you do have to do like double so if you're making a six ounce bottle you would do six scoops instead of three basically it's one scoop for every ounce for this little half also if you are exclusively um, your baby is exclusively formula fed and you're having a hard time finding formula my heart goes out to you because i keep telling corey like can you imagine i worked really really hard to get my breast milk supply up and i keep thinking like if i didn't do that and we were at a point where she was fed exclusively with formula and we couldn't find formula i would be having breakdowns every day it just very sad that that's going on right now i know the company that we use right now we use bobby um they did send out an email a while ago that they're not taking any more new customers because of the formula shortage i would sign up for any of their alerts or whatever and um once i do start taking new customers because i think they're a great formula company next i think kind of basic thing we have a sound machine we don't use this as often now because when jude is sleeping somewhere it's usually like in the car which she, she doesn't need like a specific sound but this is really nice to have especially when she was a little baby because i was trying to get her on a sleep schedule she knew that if she heard the sound she was sleeping if we're somewhere at someone's house and she needs to take a nap i'll pull this out and use it and then the last i would say kind of basic item is a change of clothes 
We rarely use this. What I did is I just put clothes in here that like I don't normally dress her in. So I have this, these pants that have like a ruffle butt and then this onesie, oh it is six to nine, that just got, you can't even see. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. This onesie that is dyed and got over dyed. So I just keep that in there. And yeah, I think that's the last basic item. So moving on to the not as basic items. I have some things for Jude Girl's hair in here. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, my baby has a lot of hair. She was born with a lot of hair. It just continued to grow. I thought all her hair would fall out. That didn't happen. So I have a little comb in here. I have a little scalp scrubber in case she has to take a bath at my mom's. And then I have a little hair tie. I actually recently put the hair tie in here because if I forgot, um, if I forget to put her hair up before a swim class, her hair does go in her face. So I just want a hair tie living in here now. The next thing I have in here, for summertime, um, because it's just not useful if it's not summertime. I have a little baby hat. I did an H&M haul that included this baby hat. And then I also have sunscreen. If you don't know, you're not supposed to use sunscreen on your baby until they are six months. But from six months on, you should be putting, you should be putting sunscreen all over them um, when they're out in the sun, especially as it gets hotter in the summer. This is also from Pipette. We love Pipette. That's the body wash we use for Jude Girl as well. And then I just showed you the baby, baby balm. And things are like out of order now, so I'm getting confused because the last few like, I guess, feeding items that I didn't talk about, now that Jude is seven months actually, so we've been starting solids for a while. I keep this bib in here. I don't know why everything, okay. I hold it here, it's not washed out. So I keep this bib in here. This bib lives in her diaper bag. Again, it's another thing that I don't have to think about putting in there when we're going somewhere. If I could give you any advice, if you are buying something and you have the budget or even put it on your registry and hope someone gets it, get like multiples of something or whatever you need that you know you're going to be taking out and about a lot so that it can just live in your diaper bag because when you are trying to leave the house with a baby it's very easy to be like oh i didn't bring that i didn't bring that and then you're out and you're like you just don't have it it's not the end of the world like if i forgot her bib it would not be the end of the world but it's nice that i just don't have to think about it because so many of these things just live in her diaper bag so most of the time i can just grab the bag when I'm going out the door and just not have to think about it. The next feeding thing I have in here is a little pouch. So this doesn't actually live in here because I, always have, I obviously have to fill it up before I put it in here, but I did want to talk about this because now that Jude has started solids, we do primarily baby lead weaning and I just feel like I'm at a point right now where I don't want her to make a restaurant that messy because baby love weaning is really, really messy. So what I'll do most of the time if I'm going out to eat with someone, I will make her puree and put it in this pouch so she can still eat something while we're all eating. Um, this is actually from the Hawker brand and it, yeah, it's a reusable pouch. I prefer this. I just don't really like, I haven't personally found a pouch on the market yet that is something that I want to give her. Um, they just have stuff in it that I don't want. And then also it takes like two seconds to make baby purees and it's much cheaper than actually buying the pouches. If you're in a pinch, get the pouch, but if you have the time, I would say buy these and then you can fill it up with whatever you want. The last few things I have in here is a pacifier. Ju does not use a pacifier anymore, but she does think it's a fun toy. So she used to actually use it from like a few weeks old to maybe around two or three months old. It took a while to get her to, fi to find the pacifier that worked for her. We still keep her pacifier in here because she does think it's a toy now. So like she'll bite it and like rip it out and like wing it around. She thinks it's fun. So we keep that in here. And then yeah, the rest of the stuff in here is primarily for me because as I said, most of the time the diaper bag ends up doubling as my purse because I'm usually with Jude Girlie. So I have from First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Lip Therapy, just a lip balm, even though it doesn't really matter now because most of the time I'm wearing masks. Then I also have Purell, which I guess is for me and Jude Girl, anyone else that's around. You know how there's some companies that are so prominent that we end up calling the product by the company name? Like it's hand sanitizer, but I instinctively call it Purell. Another example, Kleenex. People will say Kleenex, but that's the tissue brand. Crazy. And then the last thing I have in here is some hand and body lotion. And then the last thing I have, which just a random, I have two Trident gums. I have a berry flavor and mint flavor. I like gum, especially when I'm out and about. Not the best habit, but you know what? 
it's fine. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's everything. So I hope this video is helpful. As I said, if you're not about to be a new mother or you're not a new mother and you're just nosy, shout out to you because I would also just be nosy. But I hope this video is helpful and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Bye.